Well, as fate would have it, today was the day for a planned community conversation on gun violence here and around the state. Chase Bachman joins us live in studio to fill us in tonight on what ideas were thrown out there to put an end to this. Chase? Well, Jeff, Melissa, the conversation covered a lot of ground. There was talk about laws at the state level, the role of violence interrupters, and if people like you and I can do anything to help prevent this violence. 18-year-old panelist Breon Williams has been talking about gun violence in his city for months, reaching out to city council in the process and praying his city can be better. I, I, I haven't lost hope in Toledo. I really hope Toledo... I really feel like Toledo can become a better place. We have an ecosystem that has created too much violence. There was a common goal at Scott High School Tuesday night, ending senseless gun violence. Panelist and Toledo City Council member Nick Comive said he thinks there's been too much responsibility put on the violence interrupters program. He says stopping the violence is a bigger issue. And, you know, it almost feels like the interrupters have a heavy task in front of them, and they do, but this is about all of us coming together, and they play their role, and I'm excited to see their role come to fruition. Panelist and social activist Avis Files says a big component is looking after the kids. We, we really have to think about the children in this community and we have to work and to strive to make a difference for the children in our community. Trying to find a silver lining in this year's 44 homicides, Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich says despite the recent gun violence, overall numbers have improved. The reality is that this has been a much safer summer in terms of total gun related incidents shootings, homicides, crime across the board. But the recent shootings have left a reason for concern and a hope for a better future, one of which Breon can be proud. Ohio House Bill 99 went into effect yesterday. Toledo Public Schools are one of the many districts in the state passing rules saying they will choose not to arm their teachers. Reporting live in studio tonight, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.